YouTube, it's Christabel back for another video and today it's Killing Eve. Um, welcome to my channel if it's your first time here and welcome back and big love and respect to the Patreons and to my subscribers. So, where did we leave it? We saw freaking Eve chase Villanelle literally to within two minutes of getting on the train. Eve was right behind her. She followed her, she was on her trail basically from the golf course and um, yeah, Villanelle got away again. We saw Constantine have a heart attack um, and he's fine, but he's now in a hospital bed next to Dasha, which is just like the worst place to be. They both look messed up, but Dasha looks messed up. And um, we saw Eve, um, we saw Eve also have another episode of, you know, enjoying a bit of violence, should I say, um, stepping in Dasha's ch chest which I can't really blame her for because, you know, she was saying some mad shit about her husband at the time. So, she's, that's just just mad. Um, what else was there? So, we saw that Carolyn let loose because she was mad that her assistant has been killed again. Um, also, the, her daughter realised that Constantine was using her to get to her mum. Um, yeah. We all saw what happened in the last reaction. I'm not going to recap it all because I'm eager to see what's going to happen now. As I said before, somebody said that this felt like the season series finale, rather. So I'm interested to see how they could have mistakenly thought that it ended here and there wasn't actually going to be a season four. So interested to see. That sounds like someone could get killed or something. It could, you know, or you could think that someone's going to get killed, but interested to see so let's crack on and rambling now so killing eve season three finale let's get it what do you want i want to accept your job offer helen loves me yeah is that the, the woman Actually, that kissed her head no oh uh, yeah i got promoted goodness i know who killed my son what Rather a poor start to a job interview, don't you think? You're turning me down? I don't know what it is you're offering. You're trained to do one thing, and one thing only. If you can't do that, what you see to me. So, Carolyn just got constant contact with Vinola, so she really did offer her something in that room. I came to say goodbye. It's dangerous to discharge yourself, you know. It's a more dangerous thing. Have you been a naughty boy? You know, she did this to me. She embossed a woman. Are you surprised? You tried to kill Villanelle. You have infected her with your disgusting lack of ambition. No, please, don't go, please. She hasn't got a please don't go bone in her body. Stay within. Nah, stay back. You need to forget Mother Russia. You're going to die in this room. If you didn't like how I treated her, why didn't you do anything about it? We are both to blame. You are just as much as... Is that a coincidence? She didn't die, did she? How are you? How are you? You two are the weirdest. Nico's in hospital. Dasha stabbed him through the neck and blamed it on you. Are you listening to me? Do you ever think about the past? That's all I think about. Encourage all to the dance for rhythm or a new rhythm. You know, Eve thinks she's on a date here. How was this arranged, Carolyn? Are they just going to leave us wondering that? I hope Carolyn's watching you too because. Why not? We never make it that long. We consume each other before we got old. That sounds kind of nice. 
Take this. I'll meet you later. What is it? Freedom. What's going on? Our party's getting crushed. Go, Eve. Well, I was trained to wear clothes that allow a full range of movement. So weird. I was trained to look devastating. Obvious. Isn't it funny? Two ruthless killers and somebody says jump. Just, just jump. Who's gonna kill who? I don't care you've checked out. In fact, it's better for me. The bigger your crisis, the quicker that I can take your place. So keep having your wobble. Come quietly, little sheep. I promise you'll be happier that way. Oh, your days are numbered, baby. You've got the wrong one. You're black, baby. You're all camouflaged. For not trusting you, for not hearing you, for holding you up to the model of motherhood dictated by society, <laughs> for pursuing an intimate relationship with your former lover, even if I didn't know I was being coerced by him. Either give her the letter or tell her that. Don't read <clears throat> your own bloody letter. Oh, have you... Both read wrote. Okay. Written, I should say. Dear Geraldine, I think it's time oh. you left. So you're throwing me out? I'm not throwing. I'm she just wants some space adjusting. Back. Living with your mother is no kind of life for you. Or that you haven't found out who killed Kenny yet, because the likelihood is he just killed himself because he was so deeply bloody unhappy. No. It's not about any of those things. Please, don't please me, Geraldine. Let's move out. I know out. you think I'm heartless, but I do care in my own way, and I'm telling you, you are no longer welcome here. It might be dangerous for you here. I used to work in a betting shop. Back in my youth. Uh, 100 on Bruce. Good fuck. I expected you to look more like a stripper. I'm in disguise. This is the Russian's box. Oh, he sent me. No, he didn't. Yes, he did. No, he didn't. Yes, he did. You telling me that a lady like you is mixed up with a man like him? I'm not a very nice lady. What are we doing? Where are we going? What's going on? Meeting about. Ooh. So what's so urgent? It can't wait. Can I make you a cup of tea? Why do you say it like that? How did I say it? Like I'm about to need one. <clears throat> anyway, I get through a pack in a day, two if I'm stressed. And a couple of months ago, I realized someone was dipping their finger into my Tang Fasta Connie Pot. So I set up a secret camera. <laughs> Kenny. Pilfering bastard. Sorry. <laughs> This is from the day Kenny died. I see. No way. No way. You. No. Ronnie, no. if you can't no. catch you. Me to get it. Yes, because she's supposed to be getting it for me. Mm -hmm. Why would your daughter want this? She's not riding the head. I promise you, this is just a chief piece of tourist art. Oh, so you then why would it be there? No, no, no! It opens another safety box with money, passport, a 
emergency toiletries. Are you okay? No. He's lying. Okay. Okay, slow, slow. Ah. Slow, slow. Carolyn, can you update everybody? We got a fucking serious fucking infiltrator. Very boxy, quite Victoria Beckham esque. Earlier seasons. Oh, wait. That one? It wasn't me. I swear. <laughs> it's that bitch. It's her. Oh my god, it is her. She's directly in front of us. And she likes tying fast eggs. What do you think she does with all the penises, Ash? It's <laughs> 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 a good question. <laughs> have to take that ringtone out. Get it's copyrights for ringtones and shit. Yeah. Would you please tell your friend to give me what's mine? You're with Eve? Eve, I'm at your work! Everyone here is really strange. Meet us. Now. She said for me to hang on to it, didn't she? The good ones? I pickle. The bad ones? This has been great, guys! Yes. I know. What? I know you're the one who's been stealing money from the account. What do you want? I want you at my house in half an hour. What is going on? Who's this? Change of plans. Oh, come on. I Who could it call. be? Who's not there? Give me what's mine. No. Who could that be? Don't touch me. Oh, it could be Carolyn. Who you fucking fuck with my son. Let's dance. Don't say anything. I do the talking. Yeah, because she knows that this guy is working. Ah, now he's here. We can start properly. There we go. Carolyn? I'm helping. Villanelle, of course. I'm surprised she's not with. <coughs> Shall I? You may as well. What have you told her? As I've explained to you, Carolyn, he only knows me because I've been working undercover. And you believe that? Sit down. This is something new. Who's he? Someone who's going to answer a couple of questions. Carolyn, things will go a lot easier for you if we just end this now. Sit down, Paul. The fuck you He's think you are, bitch? Giving me orders. Do you even know how to use that? Please, give the gun to me. Okay. No. Oh. Seems you're working. You're going to burn for this, both of you. Shut up, Paul. What is going You're going to dead here today. No idea. What happened? It's fine. If you two are going to be here, the least you could do is just sit down and be quiet. Get over there. She's turned on. Carolyn's a bad bitch. Carolyn, been fucking with the wrong hole, villainer. For the twat for you. This is why we've been investigating him. He's betrayed everyone. He's even been stealing millions from the Twelve. Don't listen to him. He is the Twelve. Dick? Will you all be quiet? <laughs> Carolyn, catching what up. is this about? This fucking little fly is bugging me. Why did you kill my son? What? <laughs> That's ridiculous. I saw the footage. What footage? On the day Kenny died, you were there. You were there? You were there, bitch. I can't explain. Why didn't Please you explain do. before? Because I'm very close to pulling this trigger. He doesn't kill people. He makes other people do it for him. Because of Paul? What? Kenny was getting too close to the 12th. I told him, 
if he wanted to live, he needed to come working for the Twelve. He got scared. He kept stepping back. I tried to stop him, but he fell before I could do anything. Sorry, so you killed him directly or indirectly, either way you killed him, cool, cool. Pop him off. You knew him personally, bastard. I want. Don't say love. Don't. Why just me? Why not him as well? Because I don't care about him. He doesn't mean anything to me. But I did care about you. Carolyn, you're a bad bitch. Him for dead. Oh Constantine is a dangerous motherfucker. It should have been you. Go before I change my mind. Are you coming? No. Why not? You're not family. What I've come to realize is that one cannot destroy the Twelve. Well, you should listen to her, Eve. I know it. She knows it. Maybe it's time you went cold turkey? I don't want to do it anymore. Any of it. I had a life. I had a husband and a house and a chicken. You still want that stuff? No. It's easier than that. If only that were true. Stand up straight. Now turn around and face the other way. What? I'll turn this way. Now what? Walk. Now we walk, and we never look back. But I, I... don't turn. Just walk. If it ends like this, then I could understand why you might think it's a season finale does leave things open but not open really because Carolyn said you know we can't beat the 12th it's like the mafia or something there's always going to be something they've killed somebody to sort of pay for Kenny's death Constantine's gone and these two are going to separate she had to turn back didn't she she's going to turn into a pillar of salt both do forever that season was really different wasn't it i can understand why i don't know if it's a cultural thing um because you know the british humor and all of that sort of stuff but i love this season it started off really heavy where seasons generally will start off light-hearted or maybe have something in the beginning to hit you with a little bit mishmash in the in the middle and then like a big crescendo but um, this sort of had that big event at the beginning and then went up and down. So yeah, it kind of, so yeah, we had that big bang in the beginning with Kenny dying and then it sort of went up and down in terms of events and stuff. Eve's husband got hurt and also that the finale there with Carolyn just popping off was very dramatic, but there was a lot of comedy and humor and just, background and character development in this season and so it might not have been what some people were expecting but I think it may have been my favorite season so far I don't know I'm gonna have to go back and just revisit season two and one and double check before I make that statement but I really enjoyed this season um, so Constantine was just on the roof with Kenny and Kenny and he just kept walking back and back until he fell off the edge pretty much like the girl fell off the edge of the tube track that's what we're saying because if I was in that position and I'm getting busted up by Villanelle on the tube track and I'm walking back towards the edge of the track and she's sort of there and the track is death guess what I'm gonna move to the side I can go like that I can go like that she didn't have a gun so 
you know, yes, we saw her fall to the track. Fair enough, she was dumb. And until I'm told otherwise, I'm going to assume that what happened to Kenny happened to Kenny. Um, but that flipping Constantine would allow Carolyn to go through all of that and not tell her anything, you know, or just tell her that Kenny's in danger and allow her to save her son rather than try and get Kenny recruited into the 12th. It's just messed up. One way or another is responsible because I just don't know. I don't know. But um, the, the jury's out on Constantine. I love the chemistry and his character. I hate his laugh. But um, that is a step too far for me. Kenny was my, my dog. So, yeah, that's just too much for me. Uh, you know, I wanted her to pop him off, both of them, to a degree. Um, but maybe he's integral to season four. So we'll see. Villanelle and Eve. The drama goes on. So are they going to... Well, where are we going to find them? Freaking married with a baby at the beginning of season four or some madness? Because they do these big time jumps and, you know, people could be anywhere. So we'll see where that is. But um, I really enjoyed that. I really did. Um, it was cool. Um, full, full reaction is going to be on Patreon. So if you want to check that out, do go ahead and sign up. Other things on there too. Um, so, yeah. Till next time. Peace and love. Bye.